This is the instructions for part C, Kepler's third law. And for Kepler's third law, we're going to erase all the sweeps. We don't need those. We're going to go to this Kepler's third law part. And we want to set the parameters for Earth. Okay. So now, when you look at this, there are two pieces of information. We have P, which is the period. How long does it take for the planet to go around the animation once? So that is related to this. So we have the animation rate years per second. So if we have it, if we start the animation and we have it going around at maybe one year per second, that means that every it'll, it'll go by this point once every second. And because we have a period of one year in one second, right? The animation rate is one year per second. The period is one year. So in one second, we have one year, which is one orbit around the sun. A is the semi-major axis. And for Earth, the semi-major axis is one AU because we define an astronomical unit as the distance average distance from the Earth to the Sun. Now, if you change this, if we make it smaller, then we can see that it is going around faster. It takes less time for the, the planet to orbit, so now it passes by this point more than one time a second. If we stretch this, stretch this way out to pass Pluto, it takes it's going to take about 354 years to go around once, which means that it's going to take 354 seconds for this planet to go all the way around the sun. What you're going to need to do is look at this graph. We have all the different planets with their semi-major axis along one axis and the period along the other axis. You can see the tick marks along here, and you can change these between linear and logarithmic. It doesn't matter which one you use to answer these questions, but you're going to try to figure out at what point is something at 10 years. So there's 10 years. How long, how big is the the semi-major axis, and for 50 years, and for 250 years. So what happens to the length of time it takes the planet to go around the sun compared to how far away it is from the sun? This is Kepler's third law, but these two things, the length of time it takes for the, the planet to go around its period, and the semi-major axis, how far away it is from the sun, are related. That the length of time the period squared is always going to be equal to the semi-major axis cubed.